Are you considering having an aesthetic procedure performed? Confused by all the information out there? Welcome to It's a Young Thing, where Nurse Paula Young arms you with the knowledge on all things cosmetic and aesthetic. And now, Nurse Paula Young. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to It's a Young Thing. I'm Nurse Paula Young. And you know, in previous podcasts, we've been talking about fat in one form or another, either belly fat or leg fat. So today, you know, we're always fighting this battle of the bulge. And so today, I want to talk about a bulge that it's really difficult to hide with clothes. And this is the one that's under your chin, the dreaded double chin. You know, around Thanksgiving time, we call it the turkey neck, but it's there and it's there all the time. And it's something that really can be taken care of in today's world of aesthetic medicine with all these new advancements and technologies and products. Now, the medical terminology for double chin is submental fullness. That's kind of like what you'll hear it talked about on some of the websites for some of the products. And there's three main causes for a double chin. Well, first of all is genetics. If your parents have it, you most likely could get it. Another thing is during the aging process. You know, all these wonderful things happen to us when we age. And one of them is these fat pockets that just pop up everywhere. And one of them underneath a double chin is one of the areas, um, usually due to hormonal changes, and also weight gain. And you don't have to be overweight to have a double chin. And they can actually make you look older than what you really are. And men, you know, they're really uncomfortable, especially if you're in a suit and tie, and you got your tie on your shirt kind of tightened up there at the top, and you have this double chin, and it can be kind of painful and uncomfortable, or you just don't like the way you look in a shirt and tie. In fact, men are mostly seeking treatments for the double chin, um, especially if they're in a professional sort of, of um, career. So, you know, we perform three different procedures for treating the double chins at Young Medical Spa from non-invasive to minimally invasive. So let's talk about the non-invasive ones first. Well, do you remember we talked about cool sculpting in a previous podcast? Uh, cool sculpting is freezing your fat with a non-invasive uh, device. Well, Zeltique, the manufacturers of cool sculpting, got really smart. They're making applicators that fit other areas of the body, and one area is under the chin. So they made this really small applicator. It's quite small and it just is big enough to fit in that area. It's completely non-invasive. There's very mild discomfort, if anything. And after the fat cells are frozen, they rupture by gentle massage from the cool sculpting technician and your body's going to work to eliminate the fat now on its own. So this is when, you know, the white blood cells come in. We call them macrophages. They come in and they carry this fat away to the lymphatic system and the lymphatic system carries it through your body for natural elimination. And, you know, ways that you can help this process is by staying hydrated and exercising. And usually with this treatment, you'll see results starting in about a month that just kind of keep getting better and better. So if you want to know more about cool sculpting, I would suggest you go back and listen to my cool sculpting podcast. Um, it'll explain all the details about a cool sculpting procedure. Now, another form of of fat reduction for underneath the chin is an injectable form and it's made by Allergan and Allergan is the manufacturer of Botox, Juvederm, Latisse, all these brands I'm sure you've heard of. Well, it's a product called Kybella. So let's talk about this. Now, you know, years ago, there was a type of fat dissolving procedure called lipodissolve. And it really got a lot of bad press because basically what it is, is lipodissolve, lipo meaning fat dissolve. Well, you know, what dissolve means to break up. Um, lipodissolve is just basically injecting various um, drugs into the skin that cause the fat cells to rupture. Well, doctors were kind of mixing up whatever concoction that they wanted. And some clinics actually got into a lot of trouble. There were some lawsuits. Um, there were ulcerations that formed on people's skin. There was a lot of problems with lipodissolve. And the FDA really cracked down on lipodissolve. Well, somebody got smart because lipodissolve is a really tried and true way of dissolving fat um, if you do it properly. Somebody got smart and they did it and they did it right. They did clinical trials on it. They bottled it up and they mar they're marketing it now. They got FDA approval and they're marketing it for this submental fullness through Allergan with um, the product called Kybella. 
So it's kind of minimally invasive because it's just small needles, very small needles, kind of like an insulin syringe. And there's multiple injections that are strategically placed in the area. And like I said, it was like the old dissolve technique that was banned. But because of this clinical trial that they ran and the FDA proved that it was safe and efficacious, um, you know, it's bottled in precise ingredients. So there's no variation in these chemicals like the old ways of lipodissolve. So it causes the fat cells to burst and it, basically killing them. And then your body will dispose of the fat, kind of like the way cool sculpting did. You know, the fat cells are broken and now you've got this fat product in the interstitial space, which is a space between the cells. And now your body's got to come in and it's got to clean up with the macrophages come in, clean it up to get disposed of the fat through your body's own natural elimination process. Now, there is usually swelling after this procedure, which is expected. And this pain and swelling that can be, um, you know, uh, that happens after the Kybella injections. Um, it's minimal. It really is. And, you know, it has to be swollen because that's letting you know that your body's doing something. You know, your red blood cells are coming in, your white blood cells are coming in, there's an inflammation process going on. It's it's a an induced inflammation process on purpose to help your body clear all this fat out of this swollen space. So you're going to see results with Kybella in about one to two weeks. Some people may need a second or third treatment. You just kind of go like an as is situation, kind of like even with cool sculpting, because they're non invasive to slightly invasive with the needles. Um, you know, you do one treatment, you give it a couple months, you see how everything looks. And if you need a second treatment, um, there's always that option. Now, let's talk about a minimally invasive way to get rid of your double chin. Now, we talked about laser lipolysis or smart lipo, and um, that is a certain wavelength of laser energy that goes underneath the skin to melt fat. So we use at Young Medical Spa the Smart Lipo and the tri- Smart Lipo Precision TX and uh, the triplex system, the Precision TX. And the Precision TX is a special wavelength on the Smart Lipo triplex system that we use specifically for treating smaller areas, like maybe the tops of the knees, underneath the armpits, and under the chin and along the jawline. And it really helps to slim down and tighten up like those droopy dog jabs that we can get as we age. Typically with smart lipo, it's usually one treatment. And a unique advantage with this procedure is because we can target now the jowls on the sides of the face that kind of hang down. So just like our smart lipo ep- episode, now this is where I want you to go back and listen to the um, episode we were with Dr. Young, where we talked about smart lipo and what's all involved in the procedure. You want to go back and listen to that podcast so you really get all the details about that. Um, we do use tumescent anesthesia, um, three small puncture holes in the skin. The tumescent anesthesia numbs everything up. It's like uh, some drainage of this fluid is going to be after the procedure. And you will have to wear, now here's where it differs, you will have to wear a special neck garment for about five to seven days. So there's going to be a little bit more downtime due to wearing this garment. There's minimal pain, there's minimal swelling, and there's just a little bit more downtime than the non-invasive methods of fat reduction. And with this, you usually see results in one to two weeks. Now, we're talking about fat that's underneath the chin. There's one thing that you've got to be aware of. If you just have really not fat there and you just have saggy skin, really the only thing that's going to help you with this situation is going to be a neck lift or a mini neck lift where you need to get this skin really cut up or tightened up or cut out. Um, there's another thing that can happen when you undergo some of these fat reduction systems. Some people have what's called it's a fancy word, platysmal bands. And what it is, it's these really big, thick tendons that come down from like your chin down the front of your neck to almost like in your collarbone area. So when you reduce the fat down, these bands become more prominent. So during your physical examination, when you go in for a complimentary consultation, I know at least in our office, this is one thing that our practitioner checks for is to feel these tendons and see how prominent they are and to be wary of the fact that once you get the fat removed, you may then be left with these these tendons that you can see coming down your neck. Is that going to be better for you? Is it going to be um, you know, worse for you? So this is something that you really have to think about. Uh, so a physical examination is great. So with any fat reduction, 
procedure, any body sculpting shaping procedure, you do want to go to a clinic, to a doctor that offers a variety of treatments and procedures and options because not every person is exactly the same. So that is all I have this week for double chins on it's a young thing thank you so much for joining us if you want to listen to the other podcasts i mentioned please check out our website at youngmedicalspa.com they're all there on a podcast page they're also available on soundcloud and itunes thank you so much we'll talk to you all next week you've been listening to it's a young thing with nurse paula young if we didn't discuss a topic you're interested in today be sure to subscribe to our podcast on itunes so when we do you don't miss it the cosmetic aesthetic world can be confusing. We're here to arm you with quality, truthful information from our many years of experience. For even more info, youngmedicalspa.com. This has been a Steve Mittenin social media creation. Steve Mittenin social media.com. The creators, producers, participants, and distributors of this podcast disclaim any liability in connection with the material expressed herein. This information should not be substituted for individual medical counseling. Information on this podcast is not intended to diagnose or prescribe treatment for any condition. It is intended for educational purposes only, based on the research and experience of Young Medical Spa. Discussion of specific treatments is done only in an office visit directly with a patient. Contact our office to schedule.